In Georgia, whether it's from solar or biodiesel power, it is clear that renewable technologies and energy are key to agriculture's future. Now, in the western part of the United States, a power first used to pump water is being used to provide renewable energy. And one rancher who corralled cattle full time is now roping the wind. In this report from New Mexico, the Monitor's Ryan Nakan shows us how agriculture and technology are coming together once again to produce electrifying results. On the road of life, every son wants to make his father proud. But for fifth generation cattle farmer Pat Boone, it's bittersweet. So he died just a little bit less than a year before they put up the first tower. His entire life, Boone's father searched to get more resources out of his land than just cattle. But what he didn't realize was that he would never see what he was looking for. But he did feel and hear it. The Natural Resources Department in the fall of 1998, they, they um, went around the state and put up eight wind test towers. The San Juan Mesa owned by Boone sits high above the New Mexican desert plains. And with little obstacles against it, it's not uncommon for the wind to blow 20 miles per hour steadily for months at a time. From the bottom of the foundation to the top of the highest wing, they are a football field high. They are amazed at how big they are, but they don't fully appreciate how big they are until they walk up to one and stand up directly under it and look straight up. That's the only way you can truly appreciate how big one is. Every turbine generates one megawatt of energy, and each cost about $1.5 million to build. The entire project will churn out enough money to pay for itself in about five to 10 years, but will last more than 20. This is kind of the, the coming thing, and it's, it is renewable. There is no end to the wind. The wind turbines produce enough energy to power 35,000 homes here in eastern New Mexico, up to south Oklahoma, and across to west Texas. We still use windmills to pump water, but, but this is a different deal. This is contributing to the, to the economic life of, of our community and our state. Everything about the wind, they just continue to monitor it all the time. And as Boone looks out across the fields that were once only used for cattle, he still has memories of his father. But now he carries the thoughts of his family that will tail behind him. This land is my family before me, and then, then I'm trying to keep it for, for my family, for my children, my grandchildren. Bringing a technology and a family full circle, because now he can see what his father was looking for for all those years. In New Mexico, for the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockhan.